this class we discuss about energy sources the energy sources are broadly classified into two one is independent sources another is a dependent sources the dependent sources are again classified as voltage controlled voltage source another is current controlled voltage source voltage controlled current source current controlled current source now we will discuss about how to convert a voltage source into a current source current source into a voltage source we will work out some problems the first is dependent voltage and current sources this type of source that is voltage or current is not changed by any variation in the connected network this is a symbol of independent voltage source this is a symbol of independent current source the next is dependent sources if the strength of voltage or current is changed due to any variation in the connected network they are called dependent sources this is a symbol of dependent voltage source this is a symbol of dependent current source another is alternating sources in which voltage or current varies with time that is sinusoidally or exponentially when two voltage sources are connected in series the resultant is v1 plus v2 when two voltage sources are connected in parallel the resultant is v1 is equal to v2 when two current sources are connected in series here i1 is equal to i2 when two current sources are connected in parallel that is i1 plus i2 now we see the practical voltage and the current source the practical voltage source has a resistance in series with the ideal voltage source this is the ideal voltage source a resistor is connected in series with it rs is a source resistance so this is a vi characteristics of a ideal voltage source this is a vi characteristics of a practical voltage source the practical current source has a resistance in parallel with the ideal current source here the resistor is connected in parallel with the current source this is a vi characteristics of a ideal current source this is a vi characteristics of a practical current source dependent sources are also known as controlled sources and are of the following types number 1 voltage controlled voltage source here this is v1 this is i1 is equal to 0 this is mu into v2 this is v2 practically voltage controlled voltage source is an amplifier which amplifies v2 to mu times v2 the second is current controlled voltage source here this is v1 is equal to 0 this is i1 this is r into i1 this is v2 this is i2 practically current controlled voltage source is a resistance which converts current to voltage the third is voltage controlled current source here this is v1 this is i1 is equal to 0 this is conductance into v1 this is v2 this is i2 practically voltage controlled current source is a conductance which converts voltage to current the fourth is current controlled current source this is v1 this is i1 this is alpha times i1 this is i2 practically current controlled current source is an amplifier which amplifies i1 to alpha times i1 now we see the source transformation this is a practical voltage source this is a practical current source in a practical voltage source a resistor is connected in series with the voltage source in practical current source a resistor is connected in parallel with the current source here rl r suffix l is a load resistance the rl is a load resistance il is a load current il dash is the load current we can find il il is equal to v divided by r plus rl load resistance il dash is equal to i into r divided by r plus r load resistance or r sub x l il is equal to il dash we can equate v divided by capital r plus small rl that is load resistance is equal to i into r divided by r plus load resistance However, for current source, the terminal voltage at x y 
would be I R I into R when R L is removed. Therefore, V is equal to I into R. Instead of I R, we can put V. Simplify the equation, you will get R is equal to capital R is equal to this R is equal to small R. A voltage source can be replaced by an equivalent current source. Now we will see how to convert a voltage source into a current source and current source into a voltage source. Here this is 18 volts, this is 6 ohms. So 18 by 6 is equal to 3 amps and 6 ohm resistor is connected in parallel with the current source. And this is 15 volt, this is 5 ohms. So 15 by 3 is equal to 3 amps. A 5 ohm resistor is connected in parallel with the current source. This is a current source. The current is 2.5 amps. This is 10 ohm. It is connected in parallel. So 10 into 0.25 that is equal to 25 volts. A 10 ohm resistor is connected in series with the voltage source. Here this is 5 amps. This is 4 ohms is connected in parallel with the current source. We have to convert it to a current source to voltage source. 5 into 4 is equal to 20. The 4 ohm resistor is connected in series with the 20 volts. With this, I conclude my lecture. Thanks for listening.